In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the hack bar and some of the capabilities that it has. Now, previously, we had looked at the ability to do some decoding with the hack bar, but the hack bar actually has a number of other capabilities, and what it really provides is a good reference tool. We've got SQL injections, and you could do a SQL attack here, and we've got the concatenate WS. There's a little bit of reference here that gives us some data points that we could actually use. I'm going to clear this out, and let's take a look at what we've got under cross-site scripting. We could plug some text in here, and what it's going to do is do a string from character code. And that's going to give us the characters that I actually plugged in. HTML characters that converted it all to HTML. So if we were to do encryption, we could do a SHA-1 hash. And we just did the SHA-1 hash on that. Now we could do a base64 encode. And that's the base64 encode. It really does a lot of conversions for you, provides you some reference points and gives us some ability to do things quickly inside the browser so you're not having to look some things up. Like the different encryption using MD5 or SHA-1, you can very quickly get a SHA-1 hash from a particular string. If I wanted to, for example, plug this in and get a SHA-1 hash from that, what I'm going to do is select this text here. I'm just going to copy it. Now what I could do is do a SHA-1 hash of that. So I could go up here to the encryption menu, SHA-1, get a SHA-1 hash, and it's going to pop up a dialog asking me for the string. And then it just plunks the string in there. Now I've actually got this selected here. What I could do is a base64 encode. And then if I did a base64 decode, it's going to drop me back to the SHA-1 hash. You can see the hack bar gives us this capability to do encodes and decodes right inside the browser without actually having to leave to go somewhere else in order to do them.